My beloved child, I know that sometimes it feels like the past is long gone, buried deep within the recesses of your heart. Yet, there are moments when I allow it to return, not to harm you, but to heal you. Today, I want to tell you that someone from your childhood, someone who once walked with you in innocence and joy, will cross your path again. This is not by chance. I have ordained this moment because there is something important that I want to restore within you. You may feel hesitant or uncertain, but know that this is a divine encounter, and I have sent this person with a purpose that goes beyond what you can see. This person will bring back memories that you thought were forgotten, but these memories hold keys to your healing and growth. The emotions that will resurface are not to overwhelm you, but to reveal what has been left unresolved in your heart. I want you to face these feelings with courage, for I am with you. This reunion is an opportunity for you to reconcile with parts of yourself that you've left behind. I have seen your struggles and the hidden pain you carry, and now is the time for those wounds to be healed. Trust that this is part of the plan I have for your life, a plan that includes your restoration and your wholeness. You may wonder why this person, why now? Know this, nothing happens without my guidance. There are things in your life that cannot move forward until certain cycles are closed, and this encounter is one of those moments. There is a seed planted long ago that is now ready to blossom. Through this reunion, I am opening doors for you, doors that lead to freedom, to love, and to the peace you have been longing for. Open your heart, child, because I am working in ways you cannot yet see. What feels like a return to the past is actually a step toward your future. I am sending this person into your life not only to reconnect with them, but to reconnect with yourself. The dreams you once had, the desires you abandoned, and the parts of you that you lost along the way will come to the surface. Do not be afraid to rediscover those parts of yourself. I have been preparing you for this moment, shaping your heart and soul so that you are ready to embrace the blessings that are about to come. This is a time of rebirth for you. Let go of your fears, and know that with me, there is nothing to fear. I am guiding every step. As this person enters your life again, pay attention to the lessons I am showing you. They are like a mirror, reflecting the changes you've made and the work that still needs to be done. But do not be discouraged. Every challenge, every emotion, and every memory is a tool I am using to bring you closer to the person you were meant to be. This is a sacred time, a time of profound reflection and growth. Embrace it with faith, knowing that I am by your side, guiding you toward a greater understanding of your purpose. Now, take a moment to reflect. If you feel my presence guiding you today, right, I am being healed by God's divine plan. My dear child, healing is not always an easy process, but it is necessary. I know that there are wounds in your heart that you have carried for so long that they feel like a part of you. But today, I want you to release them. I am sending you this encounter not only to remind you of the past, but to show you that I have been with you every step of the way. I want to heal those wounds, but I need you to trust me. Healing requires openness, and I ask that you open your heart to the process. It may be painful at first, but know that every tear you shed is watering the seeds of new growth. This reunion will be an opportunity for you to heal in ways you never expected. Old emotions may come to the surface, and memories that you thought were buried will rise again. But do not fear these feelings. I am bringing them to light so that you can release them and be free. I have always desired your freedom, and now is the time to step into it fully. Let go of the weight of the past and allow me to take it from you. This is your time for renewal and transformation. Remember, my child, that healing is a process. It does not happen all at once, but step by step, as you open your heart to my love. 
Do not rush the process. There is beauty in every stage of your journey. I am with you in the pain, in the joy, and in every step you take. Trust that I am guiding you toward the wholeness you seek. As you heal, you will find new strength within yourself, strength that you did not know you had. That strength comes from me, for I am the source of all strength. As you walk through this process of healing, be gentle with yourself. Healing takes time, and I am not in a hurry. I see your heart, and I know your desire to be whole. Let my peace cover you, and know that you are exactly where you need to be. You are not alone. I have sent angels to walk with you, to support you, and to guide you on this journey. Feel their presence and trust that they are with you, protecting and leading you toward your healing. The healing that is coming into your life will not only restore what was broken but will also bring new blessings. What you thought was lost will be restored, and what you thought was broken will be made whole. This is the promise I have for you. I am making all things new. Allow me to do the work in your heart, and you will see the transformation unfold before your eyes. Trust in my timing, for it is perfect. If you feel that healing is taking place in your life today, right, I trust in God's perfect timing for my healing. Beloved, this reunion is not just about reconnection, it is about new possibilities that are opening up before you. When someone from your past returns, it may feel like a step backward, but in truth, it is a step forward into a future that I have been preparing for you. I want you to see this encounter not as a repeat of old patterns, but as a doorway to something greater. You have grown, and so has this person. Together, you will see how much you have both changed and how much more is possible when you walk with me. I have orchestrated this moment with precision. There are no coincidences in my plan for your life. This reunion will serve as a catalyst for new opportunities and growth. I want you to approach it with an open heart and an open mind, knowing that I am guiding every detail. This person is a part of the plan I have for your future, and their return will help unlock doors that have been closed for far too long. Embrace this reunion with faith, for it is a gift that I am giving you. As you reconnect, you will find that old dreams and passions you thought were gone begin to resurface. These are not random thoughts. They are seeds that I planted long ago, now ready to bloom. Pay attention to the desires that stir within you during this time, for they are clues to the path I am leading you on. Do not dismiss them. I have placed them there for a reason. This is your time to rediscover who you truly are and to step boldly into the future I have prepared for you. This is also a time for reflection. Take a moment to look back not with regret, but with gratitude for how far you have come. Everything in your life has led you to this point. There have been challenges, yes, but there have also been moments of great joy and growth. I want you to see that nothing has been wasted. Every experience, every tear, every victory has brought you to this moment of divine possibility. Trust that I am weaving all things together for your good. The future I have for you is bright, filled with purpose and abundance. But you must be willing to let go of the past in order to step into it fully. This reunion is not about holding on to what was but about embracing what is to come. Let go of any fear or doubt that may arise. I am with you, guiding you toward the future I have always dreamed for you. Walk in faith, knowing that I am leading you every step of the way. If you feel that new possibilities are opening for you, right, I am ready to step into God's divine possibilities for my life. Child, one of the greatest gifts I offer you in this life is the power of reconciliation. Through this reunion, I am giving you the opportunity to reconcile with the parts of your life that have been left unresolved. There may be wounds that have never fully healed, words that were left unsaid, or relationships that were never mended. But now, I am bringing everything full circle. 
This is a time of healing not just for you, but for this person as well. I am calling you both to a place of forgiveness and love. Forgiveness is not always easy, but it is necessary for your freedom. I want you to forgive not only this person, but also yourself. There may be things in the past that you wish you had done differently, but I want you to release those regrets today. I have already forgiven you, and now I ask that you forgive yourself. When you do, you will find that a great weight is lifted from your heart. This is your time to be free, and forgiveness is the key that unlocks that freedom. Reconciliation is a process, and I am walking with you through every step. You may feel vulnerable, but that vulnerability is a sign that your heart is opening to the healing I have for you. Do not be afraid to let down your guard. I am your protector, and I will never let you fall. Trust that this process is leading you to a place of greater peace and understanding. The more you open your heart, the more my love can flow into it bringing healing and restoration. This reunion is also about reconciling with your past. There may be parts of your story that you have been running from, but I want you to face them with courage. Everything that has happened in your life has served a purpose, even the painful moments. I am using this time to show you that nothing was in vain. Every piece of your story has been woven into the tapestry of your life and now it is time to see the beauty in it all. Let go of any shame or guilt you may feel and embrace the wholeness that I am offering you. Through forgiveness and reconciliation, you will find new strength. What once felt like a burden will now feel like a blessing. This is the power of my love at work in your life. As you forgive and release, you will find that the chains of the past no longer bind you. You will walk in a new freedom, a freedom that only comes through me. This is your time to rise, to step into the fullness of who you are in me. Trust that I am working all things for your good. If you are ready to forgive and be forgiven, right, I release the past and embrace God's love for my future. Beloved child, the journey you are on is not just about healing, it is about transformation. I am not just restoring what was lost, I am making all things new. This reunion is the beginning of a profound change in your life, a transformation that will touch every part of your being. I want you to understand that what is happening now is not just about the past, but about the future I am preparing for you. You are being transformed from the inside out, and this process will bring you into a new level of peace, joy, and purpose. Transformation requires that you let go of the old to make room for the new. There may be habits, mindsets, or even relationships that no longer serve the person you are becoming. I am calling you to release them, to trust that as you let go, I will fill the empty spaces with something far greater. Do not be afraid of this process. I know change can be uncomfortable, but I promise you that it is for your good. I am with you every step of the way, guiding you through this transformation with my love and grace. This transformation is not just for you, it will affect those around you as well. As you grow and heal, the people in your life will see the changes in you. Your light will shine brighter, and they will be drawn to the peace and joy that radiates from within you. This is part of my plan, for your transformation will be a testimony to my love and power. I am using you to bring light into the lives of others, to show them that transformation is possible through me. As you continue on this journey, pay attention to the new opportunities that I am bringing your way. These opportunities are part of the transformation I am working in you. Do not be afraid to step out in faith and take hold of the new things I am offering you. Whether it's a new relationship, a new career, or a new way of thinking, Know that I have placed these opportunities in your path for a reason. They are part of your growth, and I am with you as you step into them. This is also a time of spiritual transformation. I am calling you to a deeper relationship with me, to a greater understanding of who I am and who you are in me. 
As you grow spiritually, you will find that the things that once troubled you no longer have power over you. You will walk in a new confidence, knowing that you are my beloved child, and that I am working all things for your good. Trust in this process, and know that I am guiding you toward a future filled with abundance, peace, and joy. If you are ready to embrace the transformation I have for you, right, I am being transformed by God's love and grace. My dear child, everything that is happening in your life right now is part of a greater purpose. You may not see it clearly yet, but trust that I am working behind the scenes to bring you into the fullness of the purpose I have for you. This reunion, this healing, and this transformation are all steps on the path toward your divine purpose. I have called you for a reason, and I am equipping you with everything you need to fulfill that purpose. You are not walking this path alone, I am with you every step of the way. Your purpose is not just about what you do, but about who you are becoming. I am shaping you, refining you, and preparing you for the next chapter of your life. This process is not always easy, but it is necessary for you to become the person I created you to be. Trust that I am guiding you toward your purpose, even when the path seems unclear. Every challenge you face is an opportunity for growth, and every victory is a reminder of my faithfulness. As you step into your purpose, I want you to know that I have already equipped you with everything you need. The gifts, talents, and abilities I have placed within you are not random, they are part of the plan I have for your life. I am calling you to use those gifts to bless others, to bring light into the world, and to fulfill the destiny I have for you. Do not doubt your abilities, for I have given them to you for a reason. Trust that as you walk in your purpose, I will guide you and provide for you every step of the way. This journey toward your purpose will not always be easy, but it will be worth it. There will be challenges, but know that I am with you in every trial. I am using those challenges to strengthen you, to refine you, and to prepare you for what is to come. Do not be discouraged when the road gets difficult, instead, see it as an opportunity to lean on me even more. I am your strength, and I will never let you fall. As you walk in your purpose, remember that you are not just walking for yourself. Your journey will inspire others, and your faith will encourage those around you. I have placed you in this world for a reason, and your life has a ripple effect on those you encounter. Trust that as you walk in your purpose, you are not only fulfilling your destiny but also helping others to fulfill theirs. You are part of a greater plan, a divine plan that is unfolding perfectly in my timing. If you are ready to walk in your divine purpose, right, I trust in God's plan for my life and I am ready to fulfill my purpose. Beloved, this journey of healing, transformation, and purpose is just the beginning. I have so much more in store for you. As you continue to walk with me, you will discover new depths of my love, new revelations of my plan, and new opportunities to grow. This reunion that I have orchestrated is only one step on the path I have laid out for you. There are many more blessings to come, many more moments of growth, and many more opportunities for you to shine. You are not the same person you were yesterday and you will not be the same person tomorrow. I am constantly working in you, refining you, and shaping you into the person I created you to be. Trust in the process, and know that I am with you every step of the way. When the road gets tough, lean on me. When you feel weak, know that I am your strength. When you are unsure, remember that I am your guide. This is a time of great revelation, a time when you will begin to see things from a new perspective. I am opening your eyes to the truth of who you are and what I have called you to do. Trust in the journey and know that every step you take is leading you closer to the destiny I have for you. You are not walking this path alone. I am with you, guiding you, protecting you, and loving you every step of the way. As you continue on this journey, remember to keep your heart open to me. 
I am always speaking, always guiding, and always loving you. Pay attention to the signs and messages I am sending you, for they will guide you on the right path. Trust in the process, trust in my love, and trust in the plan I have for your life. You are exactly where you need to be, and I am leading you toward a future filled with peace, joy, and abundance. I want you to know that the best is yet to come. This reunion, this healing, this transformation is only the beginning of the great things I have in store for you. Keep walking in faith, keep trusting in me, and keep your heart open to the new possibilities I am bringing your way. I am with you always, and I will never leave you. You are my beloved child, and I am proud of the person you are becoming. If you believe that the best is yet to come, right, I trust in God's plan for my life, and I know that the best is yet to come. My beloved child, the healing journey you are on is one of the most important journeys you will ever take. I see the parts of you that are still tender, the wounds that have yet to fully close. I want you to know that these wounds do not define you, but I also know they have shaped how you see the world and yourself. I am here to tell you that healing is not only possible, it is promised. I am with you in every step of this journey. The pain you've carried, sometimes silently, is not forgotten. It is being transformed into strength, wisdom, and compassion. Healing takes time, and I want you to allow yourself the grace to move at your own pace. There is no rush in my plan. Sometimes, you will feel ready to face everything at once, and other times, you will need to rest, to let your spirit catch up with the changes happening within you. Know that this is normal. I am with you in both the stillness and the movement. Each step is sacred. Let your heart open gently, like a flower blooming in its season, knowing that my love is the sunlight guiding its growth. As this person from your past re-enters your life, they may remind you of things you've forgotten, dreams, hurts, moments of joy. Some of these memories may feel overwhelming, but I want you to remember that I am here. This reunion is not just about revisiting old times, it's about reclaiming the parts of yourself that you have set aside. You are being invited to see your past with new eyes, eyes filled with love and forgiveness, both for others and for yourself. You will discover that as you heal, you are also opening the door for others to heal through you. Your healing journey is not just for you. Those who come into contact with you will feel the peace, the strength, and the love that radiates from your spirit. You are a beacon of light in a world that often forgets the power of forgiveness and love. I have placed this light within you for a reason. You are meant to shine, and your healing is part of that process. In moments when you feel weary or unsure, turn to me. I will be your refuge, your strength, your guide. Healing does not mean that you will never feel pain again, but it does mean that you will no longer be controlled by it. You will rise above it, not because of your own strength alone, but because I am with you, lifting you up every step of the way. Trust that my hands are holding you, even when the path feels difficult. If you are ready to embrace the healing process, right, I trust God's hands to heal my heart. My child, there are moments when the past feels too heavy to face, when the idea of looking back seems overwhelming. But I want to tell you today that facing your past with courage is a part of your journey toward freedom. There is nothing in your past that I cannot heal. There is nothing in your past that defines you more than my love for you. I want you to know that I was with you in every moment, and I am here now to help you find peace with all that has come before. You may feel the urge to run from the memories, to bury them deeper, but I am calling you to bring them into the light. When you do, you will see that the power they once had over you will diminish. There is nothing to fear in your past because I am the God who redeems all things. I turn ashes into beauty, sorrow into joy, and mourning into dancing. Trust that as you bring these memories to me, 
I will transform them. The person returning to your life is part of this healing. They may bring up unresolved emotions, but do not see this as a setback. It is an opportunity. This is a divine invitation to let go of what has been holding you back. I am not asking you to relive the past, but to reclaim your power over it. What once caused you pain will now serve as a source of wisdom and strength. You are stronger than you know, and I have been preparing you for this moment. Let go of the idea that the past was a mistake or a detour from your path. Everything you have experienced has shaped you into the person you are today. I have used even the hard times to bring you closer to me, to refine your character, and to strengthen your spirit. The person who returns may also be seeking their own healing, and I am asking you to be open to what I am doing in their life as well. Together, you can find reconciliation and peace. Facing the past takes courage, and I want you to know that you have that courage within you. It has always been there, because I placed it in your heart. As you confront the things that have been left unresolved, remember that I am with you, guiding you, protecting you. You are not alone in this journey. I am the God who goes before you, preparing the way, and I will never leave your side. If you believe you have the courage to face the past, right, with God's strength, I face my past with courage and love. My child, forgiveness is one of the greatest gifts I have given to humanity, and it is also one of the hardest to give. But forgiveness is not just for others, it is for you. When you forgive, you release yourself from the chains of bitterness and pain. Forgiveness does not mean that what happened was okay, or that it did not hurt you deeply. But it does mean that you are choosing to let go of the power that hurt is over you. I want you to experience the freedom that comes from forgiveness. You may feel that some wounds are too deep to forgive, but I tell you that no wound is too deep for my love to heal. I have forgiven you more times than you can count, and I am asking you to extend that same grace to others. The person who returns to your life may need your forgiveness, or perhaps you need to ask for theirs. This exchange of grace is sacred, and it will unlock doors to healing that you didn't know were closed. Forgiveness is not a one-time event, it is a process. It may take time, and that is okay. I will walk with you through it, step by step. Sometimes, the hardest person to forgive is yourself. I see how hard you've been on yourself, the way you replay moments in your mind, wishing you had done things differently. But today, I want you to let that go. You have my forgiveness, and now I want you to forgive yourself. Only then will you be truly free. This forgiveness is not only about the past, but it is also about your future. Holding on to unforgiveness is like carrying a weight that slows you down, that keeps you from running the race I have set before you. Let it go, and you will find that the path ahead is lighter, more joyful, and filled with new possibilities. Forgive not because it is easy, but because it is the key to your freedom. Forgive because I have forgiven you. I know there are moments when you think forgiving means letting someone off the hook for their wrongs, but that is not the case. Forgiveness is not about excusing what happened, it is about freeing yourself from the hold it has on your heart. When you forgive, you create space for my love to flow into your life in new ways. Trust me when I say that forgiveness will bring you peace beyond understanding. If you are ready to forgive, write, I forgive, because God has forgiven me. My dear child, as you go through this journey of healing and forgiveness, something beautiful is happening, you are reclaiming your power. For too long, the wounds of your past have held you back, but now I am showing you how strong you truly are. I have placed power within you that no one can take away, and it is time for you to step into it fully. The person you are becoming is more powerful, more loving, and more resilient than you ever imagined. You have been through trials that have tested your spirit, 
but I have seen your perseverance. I have been with you in every moment, giving you strength even when you didn't feel it. Now is the time to reclaim the power that has always been yours. The challenges you faced were not meant to break you, they were meant to reveal the strength within you. You are stronger than you know, and I am with you, lifting you up every step of the way. This reunion with someone from your past is not just about them, it's about you. It is a moment for you to reclaim parts of yourself that you have lost or forgotten. There were dreams, passions, and hopes that you set aside, thinking they were no longer possible. But I am telling you today that those dreams are still alive. You are not defined by your past, and your future is still full of promise. Reclaim your power, reclaim your dreams, and know that I am with you as you move forward. I want you to stand tall in the power I have given you. Do not let fear or doubt hold you back any longer. You are my beloved child, and I have equipped you with everything you need to fulfill your purpose. The power within you is not just for yourself, it is for the world. I am calling you to use that power to bring light to those around you. You have been given strength for a reason, and now it is time to step into that calling with confidence. As you reclaim your power, know that I am always by your side. You are never alone in this journey. The person you are becoming is a reflection of my love and grace in your life. Walk boldly, knowing that you are loved, you are powerful, and you are destined for great things. The world needs the light that is within you, and I have chosen you to shine that light brightly. If you are ready to reclaim your power, right, I reclaim the power God has placed within me. My child, with every step you take in this journey, I want you to walk in a new confidence. You are not the same person you were before. I have been working in your heart, in your spirit, and in your life to prepare you for this moment. The confidence I am asking you to walk in is not based on your own abilities, but on my strength within you. I want you to trust that I am guiding every step you take, and that I have equipped you for every challenge you will face. Confidence is not arrogance, it is trust in me. When you trust in my plan for your life, you will walk with a peace that surpasses understanding. You will no longer be weighed down by the opinions of others or the fears of the unknown. You will move forward with assurance, knowing that I am with you, and that I will never lead you astray. This confidence is reading your identity as my beloved child. You are loved, you are chosen, and you are capable of great things. As you reconnect with the person from your past, remember that this is a chance to walk in the new confidence I have given you. You no longer have to live under the weight of old patterns or past mistakes. You are free. You are walking in a new season of grace, and I am opening doors for you that no one can shut. Trust in my timing, and trust in the work I am doing within you. There will be moments when doubt tries to creep in, when fear whispers in your ear that you are not enough. But I want you to remember that those are lies. You are more than enough, because I am with you. You have everything you need to succeed, because I have placed it within you. Walk in that confidence, knowing that you are walking in my purpose for your life. When challenges arise, face them with faith, knowing that I am your strength. Confidence is not about never feeling fear, it is about moving forward despite the fear. You may not always feel brave, but know that you are. You are brave because you are choosing to trust me, even when you don't have all the answers. That is true courage. I see your heart, and I know the battles you've fought. Now is the time to walk in the victory I have already secured for you. If you are ready to walk in new confidence, right, I walk in confidence, knowing that God is guiding my steps. My beloved child, this journey you are on is ultimately a journey of love and grace. I have been with you from the very beginning, and I will be with you until the end. My love for you is unfailing, 
and my grace is sufficient for every challenge you face. As you continue on this path, remember that you are never alone. I am always with you, guiding you, loving you, and pouring my grace into your life. Love is the foundation of everything I do, and it is the foundation of your journey. The love I have for you is beyond anything you can imagine. It is a love that never fails, never gives up, and never runs dry. This love is what will carry you through the difficult moments, and it is what will fill you with joy in the moments of triumph. I want you to know that you are loved more deeply than you can ever comprehend. My grace is the fuel for your journey. It is my grace that sustains you when you feel weak, and it is my grace that empowers you to move forward when you feel unsure. You do not have to rely on your own strength, because my grace is enough. No matter what you face, my grace will be there to carry you through. It is a gift that I freely give to you, and it is available to you in every moment. As you continue on this journey, remember that you are walking in love and grace. There will be moments of joy and moments of challenge, but through it all, my love and grace will never leave you. Trust in me, and trust in the journey I have laid out for you. It is a journey of growth, healing, and transformation, and it is a journey that will lead you closer to me. You are my beloved child, and I am so proud of the person you are becoming. You are walking in a new season of love and grace, and I am with you every step of the way. You are never alone, and you are always loved. Keep your heart open to the love I am pouring into your life, and know that my grace is sufficient for every step you take. If you are ready to embrace the journey of love and grace, right, I walk in God's love and grace every day of my life. Beloved, the transformation you are experiencing is a reflection of the work I am doing in your life. You are not the same person you were yesterday, and you will not be the same person tomorrow. Every day, I am shaping you, molding you, and refining you into the person I created you to be. Transformation is not always easy, but it is always worth it. You are being transformed from the inside out, and this process will bring you closer to the fullness of who you are in me. Transformation requires that you let go of the old to make room for the new. There may be things in your life that no longer serve you, and I am asking you to release them. Trust that as you let go, I will fill the empty spaces with something far greater. Do not be afraid of this process. I know change can be uncomfortable, but I promise you that it is for your good. I am with you every step of the way, guiding you through this transformation with my love and grace. This transformation is not just for you, it will affect those around you as well. As you grow and heal, the people in your life will see the changes in you. Your light will shine brighter, and they will be drawn to the peace and joy that radiates from within you. This is part of my plan, for your transformation will be a testimony to my love and power. I am using you to bring light into the lives of others, to show them that transformation is possible through me. As you continue on this journey, pay attention to the new opportunities that I am bringing your way. These opportunities are part of the transformation I am working in you. Do not be afraid to step out in faith and take hold of the new things I am offering you. Whether it's a new relationship, a new career, or a new way of thinking, know that I have placed these opportunities in your path for a reason. They are part of your growth, and I am with you as you step into them. This is also a time of spiritual transformation. I am calling you to a deeper relationship with me, to a greater understanding of who I am and who you are in me. As you grow spiritually, you will find that the things that once troubled you no longer have power over you. You will walk in a new confidence, knowing that you are my beloved child, and that I am working all things for your good. Trust in this process, and know that I am guiding you toward a future filled with abundance, peace, and joy. If you are ready to embrace transformation, right, I am being transformed by God's love and grace. 
Beloved child, one of the greatest challenges you face is learning to trust in my timing. I know that waiting is not easy, especially when your heart is longing for answers, resolution, or change. But I want you to know that my timing is perfect, even when it feels like nothing is happening. I see the bigger picture, and I am working behind the scenes in ways you cannot yet understand. Every moment of waiting is purposeful. Trust that I am aligning everything according to my perfect plan. When it seems like things are moving slowly, remember that I am never in a rush. What appears to be a delay is often a time of preparation. I am preparing you for what is to come, strengthening your heart, and refining your spirit. Patience is not just about waiting, it's about trusting that I am working for your good, even when you don't see it. This waiting season is shaping you in ways that will make you ready for the blessings I have prepared for you. In the moments when you feel discouraged, turn to me. Let me remind you that I am faithful and that I will fulfill every promise I have made to you. My love for you is unchanging, and my plans for you are good. There is no need to fear the unknown because I have already gone before you, preparing the way. What you see as a waiting period is actually a time of growth. Trust me, and know that every step you take is bringing you closer to the future I have promised. While you wait, focus on the present moment. There is beauty to be found in every day, even when it feels like things are not moving. Look for the blessings in the small things, and know that I am with you in the waiting. I am teaching you to rely on me, to find peace in my presence, and to trust that I am always on time. This is a season of faith, a time for you to grow in your trust in me and in my perfect timing. The time will come when everything falls into place, and you will see the reason for the waiting. You will look back and understand that every moment was necessary, that every delay had a purpose. You will see that I was working in your heart, in your circumstances, and in the lives of those around you. I ask you to trust me, even when it's hard. Know that my timing is always perfect, and that the blessings I have for you will arrive exactly when they are meant to. If you trust in God's perfect timing, right, I trust in God's timing, knowing that everything is working out for my good. My child, I know that you sometimes feel the need to control everything in your life. You want to make sure that everything goes according to plan, that nothing falls apart, and that you are always prepared for what's next. But today, I am asking you to let go of that need for control. I want you to surrender to me, to trust that I am in control, and that my plans for you are far better than anything you could imagine. Surrendering doesn't mean giving up, it means trusting me with your heart, your dreams, and your future. When you try to control everything, you carry a burden that is too heavy for you. That weight is not yours to bear. I am here to carry those burdens for you. My shoulders are strong, and I can handle every worry, every fear, and every situation in your life. All I ask is that you release it to me. Let go of the need to control the outcome and trust that I will guide you in the right direction. When you surrender, you make room for my grace to flow into your life. Surrendering control also means trusting me in the unknown. There will be times when the path ahead is unclear, but that is where faith comes in. I want you to trust that I am leading you, even when you can't see the whole picture. You don't need to know every step, just trust that I am with you, guiding you one step at a time. I see the road ahead, and I know exactly where I am taking you. Let go, and let me lead. There is freedom and surrender. When you release control, you will find that the weight you've been carrying lifts. You will feel a peace that comes from knowing that I am in charge and that nothing can stop my plans for your life. Surrendering to me is not a sign of weakness, it is a sign of strength. It takes great courage to let go and trust me fully. But when you do, you will experience the fullness of my love and grace in ways you never imagined. 
I am asking you to trust me with every part of your life, your relationships, your dreams, your worries. Nothing is too big or too small for me. When you surrender, you are saying, God, I trust you more than I trust myself. And in that trust, you will find a new level of peace, joy, and freedom. I will never let you down. I will never abandon you. Trust in me and watch as I work all things together for your good. If you are ready to surrender control to God, right, I surrender my life and trust in God's perfect plan. My beloved, I created you with a purpose. Before you were even born, I had a plan for your life, a purpose that is uniquely yours. Sometimes, you may wonder what that purpose is, or if you are truly on the right path. But I want you to know that you are not here by accident. Every experience, every challenge, and every victory has been preparing you for the purpose I have placed in your heart. I am calling you to step into that purpose with confidence and faith. Your purpose is not something that you have to figure out on your own. I am guiding you toward it, step by step. It's not always about what you do, but about who you are becoming. As you grow closer to me, your purpose will unfold naturally. Trust that I have equipped you with everything you need to fulfill your calling. The gifts, talents, and passions I have given you are all part of my plan for your life. You are here for a reason, and your life has meaning beyond what you can see right now. I want you to know that your purpose is not just about achieving things or reaching goals. It is about how you love, how you serve, and how you reflect my light in the world. Your purpose is to be a vessel of my love and grace, to bring hope to those around you, and to make a difference in the lives of others. Sometimes, your purpose will be revealed in the simplest moments, in a kind word, a helping hand, or a heart full of compassion. As you walk in your purpose, know that I am with you, guiding you every step of the way. There may be times when you feel unsure or when the path seems difficult, but I want you to trust that I am working in and through you. You are never alone in this journey. I have gone before you, preparing the way, and I will give you the strength you need to fulfill your purpose. Do not be afraid to step out in faith and pursue the dreams I have placed in your heart. You are my child, and I am so proud of the person you are becoming. The purpose I have for you is greater than you can imagine. Trust in me, and know that as you walk in your purpose, you are walking in my perfect will for your life. Every day is an opportunity to live out the purpose I have given you, to be a light in the world, and to reflect my love to everyone you encounter. If you believe you are walking in your divine purpose, right, I walk in God's purpose, knowing that my life has meaning. My child, there are moments when you feel weak, when the challenges you face seem too great to overcome. But I want you to know that in those moments of weakness, my strength is made perfect. You do not have to rely on your own strength to get through the difficult times. I am here to be your strength, your refuge, and your support. When you feel like you cannot go on, turn to me. I will carry you. You were never meant to carry the weight of the world on your shoulders. I see how hard you try to be strong, to hold everything together, but I want you to know that it's okay to lean on me. My strength is unlimited, and I am always ready to support you. When you are weak, I am strong. My grace is sufficient for you, and my power is made perfect in your weakness. You are never alone in your struggles, I am always with you, providing the strength you need. Do not be ashamed of your moments of weakness. They are opportunities for you to experience my power in a new way. When you admit that you cannot do it on your own, you open the door for me to step in and show you what I can do. You are strong because I am with you. You do not have to fight your battles alone. I am fighting for you, and I will never leave you. 
I want you to remember that strength is not always about being able to do everything on your own. True strength is found in trusting me, in surrendering your struggles to me, and in allowing me to be your source of power. When you are tired, come to me, and I will give you rest. When you are overwhelmed, bring your burdens to me, and I will carry them for you. You are never alone in this journey. Even in the darkest moments, I am your light. Even when you feel like you have nothing left to give, I am filling you with my strength. You are stronger than you know because my spirit lives within you. Trust in my power and you will find that you have the strength to overcome any obstacle, to rise above any challenge, and to move forward with courage and faith. If you are ready to receive God's strength in your weakness, right, in my weakness, God's strength carries me. My beloved, there is great power in gratitude. When you focus on what you are thankful for, you open the door for my blessings to flow into your life in new and unexpected ways. Gratitude is more than just saying thank you, it is a posture of the heart. It is choosing to focus on the good even when things are difficult. It is recognizing that every blessing, every moment of joy, comes from my hand. I know that there are times when it feels hard to be grateful, when the challenges of life seem overwhelming. But I want you to know that even in those moments, there is something to be thankful for. When you choose gratitude, you shift your perspective from what is lacking to what is abundant. You begin to see my hand at work in ways you hadn't noticed before. Gratitude opens your heart to receive more of my love, my peace, and my joy. Gratitude is also a powerful weapon against fear, worry, and doubt. When you focus on what I have already done in your life, you are reminded of my faithfulness. You begin to see that I have been with you every step of the way, and that I will continue to be with you in the future. Gratitude strengthens your faith and gives you the confidence to trust in my plans for your life, even when you cannot see the full picture. As you cultivate a heart of gratitude, you will find that your spirit becomes lighter, your joy increases, and your relationships deepen. Gratitude is contagious, it spreads to those around you. When you live in a state of thankfulness, you become a beacon of hope and light to others. You show them that even in the midst of challenges, there is always something to be grateful for. Every day, I am giving you reasons to be thankful. The sunrise, the breath in your lungs, the love of those around you, these are all gifts from my hand. Take a moment each day to reflect on what you are thankful for, and you will begin to see my blessings in even the smallest details of your life. Gratitude opens the door for more blessings, more joy, and more peace. If you are ready to embrace a heart of gratitude, write, I am thankful for God's blessings in my life. Beloved, as you walk this journey of life, I am calling you to move forward in faith. There will be moments when the path ahead seems unclear, when doubt tries to creep in, and when fear whispers that you are not enough. But I want you to know that I am with you, guiding every step you take. Faith is not about having all the answers, it is about trusting that I do. I see the road ahead, and I am leading you to the place I have prepared for you. Moving forward in faith requires that you let go of the need for certainty. I am asking you to trust me, even when you cannot see the whole picture. I know it is not always easy, but I am with you in every step. Each step you take in faith brings you closer to the future I have planned for you. You do not need to know every detail of the journey, just trust that I am guiding you and that I will never lead you astray. Faith is an action. It is choosing to move forward even when fear tries to hold you back. It is saying yes to me even when you are unsure of what lies ahead. I am asking you to step out in faith, to trust that I am already working behind the scenes, preparing the way for you. I am with you in every decision, every choice, and every moment. When you step out in faith, you are stepping into the fullness of my plan for your life. 
There will be challenges along the way, but know that I am greater than any obstacle you will face. My power is at work within you, giving you the strength, courage, and wisdom to move forward. Do not let fear hold you back from the life I have for you. Trust that I am with you, and that I will provide everything you need to succeed. You are my child, and I have great plans for you. Moving forward in faith also means trusting in my timing. There will be seasons of waiting, but those seasons are not wasted. I am using every moment to prepare you for what is to come. Trust that my timing is perfect, and that every step you take is bringing you closer to the future I have promised. Keep moving forward in faith, knowing that I am with you, and that I am guiding you every step of the way. If you are ready to move forward in faith, right, I trust God's plan and move forward in faith. My beloved child, I want you to know that I am a God of new beginnings. No matter what has happened in your past, no matter the mistakes you have made or the challenges you have faced, I am always offering you a fresh start. Every day is a new beginning, filled with new opportunities, new mercies, and new blessings. You do not have to be defined by what has come before, you are defined by my love for you. I know that there are times when the weight of the past feels heavy, but I want you to release that burden to me. I am offering you a new beginning, a chance to start fresh. You do not have to carry the weight of your mistakes, your regrets, or your fears any longer. I have already forgiven you, and I am asking you to forgive yourself. Let go of the past, and step into the new life I am offering you. This new beginning is not just about starting over, it is about stepping into the fullness of who you are in me. I am calling you to a higher purpose, a greater calling, and a deeper relationship with me. Every day is an opportunity to grow, to learn, and to become the person I created you to be. I am with you in every step of this journey, guiding you toward the future I have planned for you. You are not starting from scratch, you are starting from experience. Everything you have been through has prepared you for this moment. The challenges you have faced, the lessons you have learned, and the victories you have won have all been part of my plan for your life. I am using everything for your good, and I am working all things together to bring you into a new season of blessing and abundance. Trust in the new beginning I am offering you. Do not let fear or doubt hold you back. I am with you, and I am making all things new. Step into this new season with confidence, knowing that I am guiding you, protecting you, and loving you every step of the way. This is your time for a fresh start, a new beginning, and a brighter future. If you are ready for a new beginning, right, I embrace God's new beginning for my life. My child, above all else, I want you to know that my love for you is unfailing. There is nothing you could ever do that would make me stop loving you. My love is constant, unchanging, and eternal. It does not depend on your actions, your successes, or your failures. I love you simply because you are mine. You are my beloved, and nothing can ever separate you from my love. There will be times when you feel unworthy of my love, when you doubt that I could truly love you after all you've been through. But I want you to know that my love is not based on what you have done, but on who I am. I am love, and my love for you is deeper than the ocean, higher than the heavens, and wider than the earth. It is a love that never fades, never gives up, and never lets go. Even in your darkest moments, my love is there. Even when you feel lost, alone, or afraid, my love is holding you. You are never out of my reach, never beyond my care. I am with you always, loving you with a love that is more powerful than anything in this world. When you feel unlovable, remember that I have chosen you, and my love for you is unshakable. My love for you is not just a feeling, it is an action. I am constantly working in your life, guiding you, protecting you, and providing for you. 
Every blessing, every answered prayer, every moment of joy is a reflection of my love for you. I want you to know that you are loved beyond measure, and that my love for you will never change. Rest in my love, knowing that you are safe in my arms. Let my love fill your heart, and allow it to flow into every part of your life. You are my beloved child, and I am proud of you. No matter where you go, no matter what you face, my love will always be with you, guiding you and leading you back to me. If you believe in God's unfailing love, right, I am loved by God, and His love will never fail me. My beloved child, I know that sometimes it feels like the past is long gone, buried deep within the recesses of your heart. Yet, there are moments when I allow it to return, not to harm you, but to heal you. Today, I want to tell you that someone from your childhood, someone who once walked with you in innocence and joy, will cross your path again. This is not by chance. I have ordained this moment because there is something important that I want to restore within you. You may feel hesitant or uncertain, but know that this is a divine encounter, and I have sent this person with a purpose that goes beyond what you can see. This person will bring back memories that you thought were forgotten, but these memories hold keys to your healing and growth. The emotions that will resurface are not to overwhelm you, but to reveal what has been left unresolved in your heart. I want you to face these feelings with courage, for I am with you. This reunion is an opportunity for you to reconcile with parts of yourself that you've left behind. I have seen your struggles and the hidden pain you carry, and now is the time for those wounds to be healed. Trust that this is part of the plan I have for your life, a plan that includes your restoration and your wholeness. You may wonder why this person, why now? Know this, nothing happens without my guidance. There are things in your life that cannot move forward until certain cycles are closed, and this encounter is one of those moments. There is a seed planted long ago that is now ready to blossom. Through this reunion, I am opening doors for you, doors that lead to freedom, to love, and to the peace you have been longing for. Open your heart, child, because I am working in ways you cannot yet see. What feels like a return to the past is actually a step toward your future. I am sending this person into your life not only to reconnect with them, but to reconnect with yourself. The dreams you once had, the desires you abandoned, and the parts of you that you lost along the way will come to the surface. Do not be afraid to rediscover those parts of yourself. I have been preparing you for this moment, shaping your heart and soul so that you are ready to embrace the blessings that are about to come. This is a time of rebirth for you. Let go of your fears, and know that with me, there is nothing to fear. I am guiding every step. As this person enters your life again, pay attention to the lessons I am showing you. They are like a mirror, reflecting the changes you've made and the work that still needs to be done. But do not be discouraged. Every challenge, every emotion, and every memory is a tool I am using to bring you closer to the person you are meant to be. This is a sacred time, a time of profound reflection and growth. Embrace it with faith, knowing that I am by your side, guiding you toward a greater understanding of your purpose. Now, take a moment to reflect. If you feel my presence guiding you today, right, I am being healed by God's divine plan. My dear child, healing is not always an easy process, but it is necessary. I know that there are wounds in your heart that you have carried for so long that they feel like a part of you. But today, I want you to release them. I am sending you this encounter not only to remind you of the past, but to show you that I have been with you every step of the way. I want to heal those wounds, but I need you to trust me. Healing requires openness, and I ask that you open your heart to the process. It may be painful at first, but know that every tear you shed is watering the seeds of new growth. 
This reunion will be an opportunity for you to heal in ways you never expected. Old emotions may come to the surface, and memories that you thought were buried will rise again. But do not fear these feelings. I am bringing them to light so that you can release them and be free. I have always desired your freedom, and now is the time to step into it fully. Let go of the weight of the past and allow me to take it from you. This is your time for renewal and transformation. Remember, my child, that healing is a process. It does not happen all at once, but step by step, as you open your heart to my love. Do not rush the process. There is beauty in every stage of your journey. I am with you in the pain, in the joy, and in every step you take. Trust that I am guiding you toward the wholeness you seek. As you heal, you will find new strength within yourself, strength that you did not know you had. That strength comes from me, for I am the source of all strength. As you walk through this process of healing, be gentle with yourself. Healing takes time, and I am not in a hurry. I see your heart, and I know your desire to be whole. Let my peace cover you, and know that you are exactly where you need to be. You are not alone. I have sent angels to walk with you, to support you, and to guide you on this journey. Feel their presence and trust that they are with you, protecting and leading you toward your healing. The healing that is coming into your life will not only restore what was broken but will also bring new blessings. What you thought was lost will be restored, and what you thought was broken will be made whole. This is the promise I have for you. I am making all things new. Allow me to do the work in your heart, and you will see the transformation unfold before your eyes. Trust in my timing, for it is perfect. If you feel that healing is taking place in your life today, right, I trust in God's perfect timing for my healing. Beloved, this reunion is not just about reconnection, it is about new possibilities that are opening up before you. When someone from your past returns, it may feel like a step backward, but in truth, it is a step forward into a future that I have been preparing for you. I want you to see this encounter not as a repeat of old patterns, but as a doorway to something greater. You have grown, and so has this person. Together, you will see how much you have both changed and how much more is possible when you walk with me. I have orchestrated this moment with precision. There are no coincidences in my plan for your life. This reunion will serve as a catalyst for new opportunities and growth. I want you to approach it with an open heart and an open mind, knowing that I am guiding every detail. This person is a part of the plan I have for your future, and their return will help unlock doors that have been closed for far too long. Embrace this reunion with faith, for it is a gift that I am giving you. As you reconnect, you will find that old dreams and passions you thought were gone begin to resurface. These are not random thoughts, they are seeds that I planted long ago, now ready to bloom. Pay attention to the desires that stir within you during this time, for they are clues to the path I am leading you on. Do not dismiss them. I have placed them there for a reason. This is your time to rediscover who you truly are and to step boldly into the future I have prepared for you. This is also a time for reflection. Take a moment to look back, not with regret, but with gratitude for how far you have come. Everything in your life has led you to this point. There have been challenges, yes, but there have also been moments of great joy and growth. I want you to see that nothing has been wasted. Every experience, every tear, every victory has brought you to this moment of divine possibility. Trust that I am weaving all things together for your good. The future I have for you is bright, filled with purpose and abundance. But you must be willing to let go of the past in order to step into it fully. This reunion is not about holding on to what was but about embracing what is to come. Let go of any fear or doubt that may arise. 
I am with you, guiding you toward the future I have always dreamed for you. Walk in faith, knowing that I am leading you every step of the way. If you feel that new possibilities are opening for you, right, I am ready to step into God's divine possibilities for my life. Child, one of the greatest gifts I offer you in this life is the power of reconciliation. Through this reunion, I am giving you the opportunity to reconcile with the parts of your life that have been left unresolved. There may be wounds that have never fully healed, words that were left unsaid, or relationships that were never mended. But now, I am bringing everything full circle. This is a time of healing not just for you, but for this person as well. I am calling you both to a place of forgiveness and love. Forgiveness is not always easy, but it is necessary for your freedom. I want you to forgive not only this person, but also yourself. There may be things in the past that you wish you had done differently, but I want you to release those regrets today. I have already forgiven you, and now I ask that you forgive yourself. When you do, you will find that a great weight is lifted from your heart. This is your time to be free, and forgiveness is the key that unlocks that freedom. Reconciliation is a process, and I am walking with you through every step. You may feel vulnerable, but that vulnerability is a sign that your heart is opening to the healing I have for you. Do not be afraid to let down your guard. I am your protector, and I will never let you fall. Trust that this process is leading you to a place of greater peace and understanding. The more you open your heart, the more my love can flow into it, bringing healing and restoration. This reunion is also about reconciling with your past. There may be parts of your story that you have been running from, but I want you to face them with courage. Everything that has happened in your life has served a purpose, even the painful moments. I am using this time to show you that nothing was in vain. Every piece of your story has been woven into the tapestry of your life, and now it is time to see the beauty in it all. Let go of any shame or guilt you may feel, and embrace the wholeness that I am offering you. Through forgiveness and reconciliation, you will find new strength. What once felt like a burden will now feel like a blessing. This is the power of my love at work in your life. As you forgive and release, you will find that the chains of the past no longer bind you. You will walk in a new freedom, a freedom that only comes through me. This is your time to rise, to step into the fullness of who you are in me. Trust that I am working all things for your good. If you are ready to forgive and be forgiven, right, I release the past and embrace God's love for my future. Beloved child, the journey you are on is not just about healing, it is about transformation. I am not just restoring what was lost, I am making all things new. This reunion is the beginning of a profound change in your life, a transformation that will touch every part of your being. I want you to understand that what is happening now is not just about the past, but about the future I am preparing for you. You are being transformed from the inside out, and this process will bring you into a new level of peace, joy, and purpose. Transformation requires that you let go of the old to make room for the new. There may be habits, mindsets, or even relationships that no longer serve the person you are becoming. I am calling you to release them, to trust that as you let go, I will fill the empty spaces with something far greater. Do not be afraid of this process. I know change can be uncomfortable, but I promise you that it is for your good. I am with you every step of the way, guiding you through this transformation with my love and grace. This transformation is not just for you, it will affect those around you as well. As you grow and heal, the people in your life will see the changes in you. Your light will shine brighter, and they will be drawn to the peace and joy that radiates from within you. This is part of my plan, for your transformation will be a testimony to my love and power. 
I am using you to bring light into the lives of others, to show them that transformation is possible through me. As you continue on this journey, pay attention to the new opportunities that I am bringing your way. These opportunities are part of the transformation I am working in you. Do not be afraid to step out in faith and take hold of the new things I am offering you. Whether it's a new relationship, a new career, or a new way of thinking, know that I have placed these opportunities in your path for a reason. They are part of your growth, and I am with you as you step into them. This is also a time of spiritual transformation. I am calling you to a deeper relationship with me, to a greater understanding of who I am and who you are in me. As you grow spiritually, you will find that the things that once troubled you no longer have power over you. You will walk in a new confidence, knowing that you are my beloved child, and that I am working all things for your good. Trust in this process, and know that I am guiding you toward a future filled with abundance, peace, and joy. If you are ready to embrace the transformation I have for you, right, I am being transformed by God's love and grace. My dear child, everything that is happening in your life right now is part of a greater purpose. You may not see it clearly yet, but trust that I am working behind the scenes to bring you into the fullness of the purpose I have for you. This reunion, this healing, and this transformation are all steps on the path toward your divine purpose. I have called you for a reason, and I am equipping you with everything you need to fulfill that purpose. You are not walking this path alone, I am with you every step of the way. Your purpose is not just about what you do, but about who you are becoming. I am shaping you, refining you, and preparing you for the next chapter of your life. This process is not always easy, but it is necessary for you to become the person I created you to be. Trust that I am guiding you toward your purpose, even when the path seems unclear. Every challenge you face is an opportunity for growth, and every victory is a reminder of my faithfulness. As you step into your purpose, I want you to know that I have already equipped you with everything you need. The gifts, talents, and abilities I have placed within you are not random, they are part of the plan I have for your life. I am calling you to use those gifts to bless others, to bring light into the world, and to fulfill the destiny I have for you. Do not doubt your abilities, for I have given them to you for a reason. Trust that as you walk in your purpose, I will guide you and provide for you every step of the way. This journey toward your purpose will not always be easy, but it will be worth it. There will be challenges, but know that I am with you in every trial. I am using those challenges to strengthen you, to refine you, and to prepare you for what is to come. Do not be discouraged when the road gets difficult, instead, see it as an opportunity to lean on me even more. I am your strength, and I will never let you fall. As you walk in your purpose, remember that you are not just walking for yourself. Your journey will inspire others, and your faith will encourage those around you. I have placed you in this world for a reason, and your life has a ripple effect on those you encounter. Trust that as you walk in your purpose, you are not only fulfilling your destiny but also helping others to fulfill theirs. You are part of a greater plan, a divine plan that is unfolding perfectly in my timing. If you are ready to walk in your divine purpose, right, I trust in God's plan for my life, and I am ready to fulfill my purpose. Beloved, this journey of healing, transformation, and purpose is just the beginning. I have so much more in store for you. As you continue to walk with me, you will discover new depths of my love, new revelations of my plan, and new opportunities to grow. This reunion that I have orchestrated is only one step on the path I have laid out for you. There are many more blessings to come, many more moments of growth, and many more opportunities for you to shine. 